So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome back to Hello Neighbor. We're back again guys. This is going to be the third video covering the newest Alpha 2 update. They? For this video guys, we're going to be taking a look in the neighbor's basement. Now, I am very aware that what we're actually able to access in the regular Alpha before we get the ending is very limited. It's actually just one room. There is some clues in there as to what is actually contained within the basement and what we are to be expecting, but the game cuts off very, very swiftly. However, using the debug menu, which for some reason they chose to include... Definitely an accident, I'm sure. We can actually investigate the rest of the basement. So that's going to be this video's objective. And we're also just going to be looking around. Okay. Uh, now he sees me. And uh, why is he getting weird? I guess I am kind of squatting in my own garden, looking over the fence with my hand raised in front of my face. There's a reason why he looks at me weird then. I actually respect that. Nay, but you're right. We are kind of strange, aren't we? We live a sad life where we break into people's houses and we find it fun. Okay, okay. But yeah, we're going to look for some mysteries, guys. And we're going to analyze things and then go into the basement. I won't spend too long doing this. Just really what's on the surface for now. And then after the basement will go back and do that because there is some really really interesting discoveries i want to share with you guys that i've found and i'm kind of starting with this one here because that's a time like i've never seen a house labeled like that i might be wrong guys in the uk we definitely don't label them 14 dot dot 14 almost like a time so it's kind of strange i'm not sure if that refers to anything in particular let me just check. I'm not sure. For some reason, it makes me think it might be like a Bible verse, and maybe it relates to somehow the character. I don't know. I've seen games do that in the past. And then as for this car here... Oh, okay. Well, uh, oh, I should probably crouch, because then he won't see me. Hiding behind the crash car. Oh, what? Why is he... Oh, my goodness. Hold up a second. What is he doing? What is he actually doing? Please don't see me. He's going behind there for some reason. As to why... I'm gonna let it slide. But yeah, this car is kind of crashed. We can't access it or anything like that. It definitely did not plan to park here. And if it did, and the neighbor let that slide, well, he's a very generous neighbor, in fact, rather than being this kind of mischievous character we all know and love. As to that, it might relate to the intro or something. I have no idea. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. How do you see me? How do you see me? We've got a torch. I suppose it would be worth taking that because it is pretty dark in the basement. All right. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. I'm gonna snatch the key from him. I snatched the key from him! I still got it! <laughs> it's progress, guys. It's progress. Holy crud, we are doing this insanely fast right here. No way. All right, open the door. Am I about to beat this in like a minute straight? Come on, activate. There we go. So, I've just pressed the switch. It's kind of the secret way. Wait, did it work? Did the, didn't the switch work? Why? Yoink. There we go. Now it's worked. So, jump through quickly. All right, wait for it to rise. Okay, now we're gonna run through really, really fast. And we did it. First try. This is crazy. What the heck? You can be, you can be quiet, but please, please, please. No, don't do that. Please. All right, get these out quickly. He's coming. He's coming. Okay, we need to free up a slot in our inventory. What don't we need? We don't need the key anymore. Get rid of the key. Throw that guy right there. Take the key card. I'm gonna throw this at the window for now. Thankfully, it did bounce back in. We'll take this guy. He heard that all right. We know someone's not doing some good stuff to his house. Can we sneak right through the door? Let me just see. We might be able to, in fact. He might be trying to investigate what the smash sound was. We've just beat this so fast. So there we go. So that... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. Oh boy, oh boy. Can we break out? No, that's got a window. Ah, uh, damn it, damn it! All we need to do now is take off the wood plank. So, open this again. Go through here. He just literally closed the door. Well, you're a stupid neighbor, I'm gonna tell you that. So, here we go. Eh, eh, oh boy. Oh, that was a Oh boy! Come on! Yes, we- <laughs> At least we got it all off, so now we've just gotta open the door. All right, neighbor. What secrets are you hiding in there? Huh? Oh boy, hide in here. <gasps> We're good, we're good. Wait, he ran out front. He did run out front. Okay, sneak up. No, no way. A bear trap, a bear trap. No, 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 come on. Yes, we're in. <laughs> I don't think he can actually get us once we're in here. So there we go. We are now in the bait. What the heck was that? If we head down here, usually, we're not really greeted to too much. This is all we have access to right here. We've got a few paintings, a few very disturbing paintings. Thankfully, I've got the torch on this occasion. Oh my goodness. Well, that's a interesting drawing trial, as is this one. And to be honest, I'm not very surprised considering the way this neighbor treats these people. This is the bed sit, and that's really it. So right here, guys, this is where the alpha usually ends. I'm sure you all know this, and behind that, there is so much more to explore. What we got to now do is if we press the tilde key, we can now type in ghost as we always can. Now that that's entered, we can fly underneath the map and check this labyrinth out guys this is no basement this is a freaking labyrinth look at this it is so intricate there are so many different ways we can go right here so i think we better get investigating because we're going to run out of time at this rate if we use the command walk as well we can then start walking usually so we first off got a cat I'm not sure that has any significance just yet maybe it will down the line though and then we've got these two guys this is always interesting because that's definitely the neighbor on the side it looks like a younger version and we still don't know who this other guy is with like the crooked nose it's Seems like in this game, they go for like different variations of node structures to make them seem very unique. So it's interesting, but here we go. Now we're apparently outside according to the game.
Good logic. All right, which way do we go? Oh my goodness, we can go down here. You know, in fact, let's do this nice and slowly. What are we greeted to down here? We just have a load of freaking torches, dude. And then we have this. Is it sealed off? No, it's not. Anything inside here? No, I don't think there's anything inside here. I don't see how they'd really hide any goodies down here. We have another door, another mannequin too, and we can interact with this one. And we have a burning mannequin in the corner with burning chairs. What? I think this way here as well leads back down. Actually, there's kind of a drop. We're tracing our steps right here. We have this differently decorated walkway. We've got another way down here, man. What the freak is going on? Again, another corner full of just burning... Oh. Something just beeped at me right there. What? And then if we go this way here, it leads to a door with three keys and a lock. So that's interesting. Let me just see where the way up goes. I'm going to say if there's a drop here. Well, there's one here full of loads of objects. But if this one just drops straight down, it's probably going to lead us to the door. And uh, let me just see. In fact, yes, it does with a burning mannequin in the corner. We've got three keys here as well. Let me just try these. Let's try the keys then. So we'll try this one here. That's a no good key. Get rid of that one. That's no good as well. It must be the bottom one out of the three then. So here we go. And open one. No, I, th I threw the key through the door. Let's go through it. So what the heck? It's so weird. There's a coffin top right down there. Guys, I'm getting confused. I don't know what's going on right here. Why would this be down here? The neighbor's hiding secrets, all right, guys. Scary secrets. I think this way might lead to the door that might lead us back out. Oh, what the heck is going on? We've got a ladder down... I am getting so confused with all these different things. I'd imagine what we got to do is turn this guy on. Come on, power on. Come on, we got this. This will not power. Let me try and pull the lever. Unless it's already powered. We cannot. What? Oh, we can. But it does not open the gate. What is down this ladder? Why would this be here? Oh my goodness, this is so unusual. We've got stuff on the TV. Is that like one of the uh, one of the walkways down here? So that winds back around right here. I'm going to go back through the door again because I want to see what is on the other side of the door up here. All right, so if we come up to this way, we've got three keys again. So let's start trying the keys. First one, no good. Second one, no good again. That's really strange. Will it be the third one then? There we go. None of the keys work. We have no choice but to ghost in this occasion then. So we I haven't got it enabled. Oops. Through this door. What the heck? <laughs> this is crazy. So this would lead us to here right here. That way seems to be tiled almost like a bathroom. And as for this way here, what is going on? Another drop down right here. Let me just see. Do I recognize any of this? The tiled way right there. I think this may lead to the same direction. Yeah, this definitely leads to the same way. There's the drop down right there. Let's try this little puzzle here again. So they never seem to have power. So we've ghosted through here and it leads us to a door at the very end. It is illuminated and we have a bed. More, more in particular, we have the neighbor's bed. And we also have another way over the top right here. Then we're greeted with this door. It's definitely locked. So before we go through that one, it seems that there was two ways. I think the other locked way above. So we're going to ghost up here again and see where this way takes us. I love how they left this in the game. It is so interesting. This is the way right here, guys. So we have the grills with the spikes at the bottom as well. This leads us along this path right here. It looks like almost like a homely decoration style. So it all leads to this door at the very very, very end. That door right there holds some significance. So, shall we have a look, guys? I think it's worth doing. This door right here might hold all of the secrets. All of the Hello Neighbor secrets, in fact. What about the second character we never got to see, huh? He may be in this game. He may be hiding behind that door, peeking us right through that little keyhole right there. Shall we do it back to him? Oh, let's try, man. It, it won't let me. But alas, we are here. We're going to glide straight through this door because we cannot open it. It's hiding secrets and we are through. Wow. This changes everything. Oh my goodness. Hold up. This was amazing. And behind this door, of course we're not. Let us back in. This is the edge of the universe, guys. This is it. We've done it. We have beat Hello Neighbor officially. Yes, and we've jumped off and we are on a new level right here. Yes, we've beat the game, guys. Mm. Now I can put that in the title. Yes. And that appears to be the entire basement, guys. We have now gone through. In fact, hold up. Is this chair restricting us from opening the door? Let me try and take this. I think that might be what's happening. So pop the chair right there. And now there we go. That was preventing us from opening it. Why do I keep getting like warning signs that the neighbor's nearby? I've just realized as well, this was the demo that they actually showed us from a trailer a while ago. We can actually see the basement and walk through it. Hey, that's kind of cool. So they left this in the game. Definitely for us not to find. They didn't want us to find this, guys. 
Yeah, right. Who you fooling, tiny build? You wanted us to all play this. So I'm gonna just fly up into the darkness of wherever we are. Some crazy dangerous land right here. It seems to put all of this thing as well inside of a box, I guess, to get it looking nice and dark so there's no light bleeding through. Wow, it's crazy to see. This is way too intricate for us not to discover and have a look, though, guys. I'm glad you guys wanted me to recheck this one out. I hope it wasn't the same thing to discover that all the other ones did because then I can't title my video clickbait. <laughs> I wonder if we go through this, will it trigger the whole like You know, that sound effect probably sounded bad, let's see Actually it did not Same with this way here That's interesting Who's this fellow? Oh wait, this is us, isn't it? That's right, this is our character. There we go, guys. The identity of our character has been revealed. And this is also why, let me just put this away. This is why as well I was saying earlier about the noses of these characters being the unique point because it's very stylized and you can see this guy has a very hook nose whereas the neighbor has a different style. I think that's what they're going from here. That's the kind of thing they're doing here. The first thing I'm gonna show you guys is if we go into ghost mode, let me just do this right here. If we fly to wherever the neighbor is within this house, let me just- <laughs> What? What the heck was that? Hold on. It was like- Wait, watch. It's like breathing. What the heck? Wait, what's he doing? Is he having a bath? Yeah, he said- Oh my goodness, what? <laughs> Just a bit. If we fly underneath him, however, what we have on the bottom is what appears to be six, six, six. Now, why would he have that on the bottom of his shoes, guys? Leaves questions, right? Maybe he's some kind of devil? Maybe he's not. Maybe they've put that there for some other reason, but it means something, doesn't it? There are some really unusual things. People are calling, like, the character we hear, the screaming, a monster, and all these other names, but I can actually prove to you guys what this is, because I know exactly what they're using as a placeholder, but then again, they have tweeted out that things with the mannequins apparently can get scary. Let's listen to the child scream music to my ears. If you look carefully, it is simply a mannequin, and more proof is if I simply do the ghost command right here, there we see the mannequin, and if you look at the angle it is on the introduction sequence, there it actually lies. Whoa! Holy crud, we can hear the kid, like, screaming. Like I was saying before, yeah, okay, we get it. We can see the mannequin right here. That was the one that sprinted away, and then it was to teleport it down. Okay, okay, okay. We got it, neighbor. You don't want us here. Now, if we look at this the next time, and I'm going to look for a mannequin again underneath the map, maybe where it finishes, we'll try and find this. What happened, actually, if I ran the ghost command right here? Oh, it kind of locks me in place because I'm in and out. Get All right, we're going to open the door. Look at the head shape, guys. There we go. It's definitely a mannequin. So if we fly... It runs another cutscene. Even though we were just hidden in here. Let's do it again, I guess. We're really low down compared to last time, though. What? Oh. Wait, what's he done? What the heck? Did he just hurt himself or something? Well, I found another sprite of our character in, like, a run animation, though. That's kind of interesting. And also the neighbor with... That's from the cutscene. I can't actually see the mannequin anywhere, which is very, very interesting. In fact, there it is. There's the mannequin again. So what it must do is it must run through and then it just pops down here. So something to do with the mannequins is going on. It does make me wonder, are the mannequins really the thing screaming? It feels like it should be. I mean, we've had it in the past where the mannequins are physically alive and doing stuff, but at the same time, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense why there'd be like some inanimate objects living unless maybe he's experimented on them, but... I don't know, man. That's pretty much it, guys, in terms of the basement and other stuff. We've investigated it all. I'm going to set this back to walk cycle now. We are all finalized with the basement and also some of the mysteries surrounding it. In the next video, what I would rather do is explore a few more things about this car right here. It's there again. I don't want to trigger. I want to try and get in the middle of the road. Do you think I can? Do you think I can kill myself? Guys, can I kill myself? Can I? Oh, I was so close. I think there might be a boundary separating us from it. So if we broke out of the boundary, we could probably get just in the way of it. And I wonder if we can die. There's a load more interesting stuff as well, guys, just outside of the map. They want us to explore this stuff and really just get some ideas as to what the heck is going on. So I think for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this video off. And really, guys, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the basement for the first time when we've been able to explore... <laughs> explore? Explore the entirety of a basement in the neighbor's house. I mean, by the next build, I don't know what they're going to be showing us, but it's getting really... Really, really interesting. Needless to say, if you did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like button? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy, and I will of course see you on the next one.